I said, yo, is this thing on? Moop, Rex, all them niggas in your team fake. Cause y'all got fat and made sure none of them niggas in your teammates, so I get your whole teammate. Check this out, man. Man, the report, man. Salute to the subscribers, notification gang. Check this out. So, murder moot. Matter of fact. Dom the Monko. Monko. You know, it makes it more intense when the niggas take their coat off and shit. You know what I'm saying? Like nowadays, they be motherfucking start rapping and shit. Motherfucker gotta take their coat off to make it seem like it's real. So, all right, so check this out. Murder Mook was catching a lot of flack as of late for um, the comments that he made in correspondence to Smack DVD saying that Smack was just a nigga with the camera per se um, during his run in the Smack DVD days. What I wanna do is I wanna ask y'all, right? What is your earliest memory of the Smack DVD days? I remember. Um, and jump in the comments. Let me know what's your earliest remember memory of the DVDs. I remember um, going to the barber shops and shit, and motherfuckers had the DVDs. I mean, I'm from the hood. There wasn't a lot of the whole fucking the 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 shits in the stores with the bar skin and all of that. I'm from the hood. Niggas had the motherfucking bootleg joints. You know what I'm saying? You could get a haircut, and you know when you blog on Mook, you got a way to do rag with the flap down. Flap has to be down. No debating. Um, I remember you used to be in the hood, you can get your cut, you can pick up the fucking mixtape CD, and you can get a fucking Smack DVD for like $30 or some shit like that, shit like that, shit like that. And um, on these DVDs, you know what I'm saying, like most people remember, if they had good features on them, like a 50 Cent, um, there was a Ja Rule one, there was a Fabulous one, they had the BMF one. How many of y'all niggas had the DVD, Smack DVD with the BMF joint? That shit was fire. Tell me it wasn't fire. The BMF joint, they had the Young Jeezy one. Um, Mad Smack DVDs came out in the hood. But on these DVDs, we always looked for the battles. They had the joint with um, T-Rex battle Uncasa in the park. The niggas had like 100 rounds and shit. Motherfucking Rex is spitting it. Uncasa's like, them dude just make tape rounds. I heard that shit on the radio. That shit was fire. Tell me it wasn't fire. Um, Murder Mook um, was real big on the Smack DVDs, you know what I'm saying? He had the Jay Mills battle, Sirius Jones joint. Um, I remember Jay Mills had the Sire Castro. Just like, it's, it was historical with the Smack DVDs, you know what I'm saying? But um, recently, Murder Mook was on the Queen's Flip podcast, and um, he caught a lot of flack for saying that Smack was just a nigga with the camera, per se. And, um, you know, they went back and forth. And Mook was saying that he feels like he was the one that was known for the Smack DVDs. And in some ways, he was. I mean, I'm going to hold it. I'm going to keep it a bean with you. Like, niggas was checking the Smack DVDs to see Mook versus Party Artie. Mook versus Sirius Jones. Mook versus J. Mills. So, um, Murder Mook jumped on Twitter earlier and said he was going to be going on Instagram to address some things. You know what I'm saying? And I'm, I was pretty sure I was in correspondence to what was going on with the whole him saying that Smack was just the nigga with the camera. So, um, I'm going to read what he said. You know what I mean? It is long. Grab your popcorn, grab your water, light your blunts, whatever the case may be. All right, so check this out. Murder Mook said, quick history lesson. People twisting up my words when I said that Smack was just a nigga with the camera. Wasn't trying to be disrespectful to him in any manner. But me and Jay Mills made the DVD famous. Me and Jay Mills' battle was already buzzing on other DVDs way before Smack Fact, major credit for Smack hustling harder than other DVDs and popping his shit off. Smack had a DVD or two before me and Mills, Mills and Castro. So Smack was taping, but it wasn't until our battle that shit went crazy. But let's be clear, ain't a soul responsible for making murder moot. Other DVDs at the time, no names, wanted to set up battles for me on their DVDs. Lux, Artie, but I said I was loyal and only wanted to battle on Smack and allowed my shit to be taped there. Fact! We were battling before the DVDs. These niggas were on street corners, so nobody didn't think that battles were set up through anybody other than niggas just being nice and wanted to test their comp. Smack 
caught a moment and capitalized as he should. One hand washed the other as always. I paid Smack $3,000 of my own bread to shoot a video for his DVD that I thought should have been free. Made no sense to me. I could I could give him battle footage for free, but to shoot a video, I had to pay. Hmm. But I can't complain. Niggas was getting to it as young niggas. Ask Smack. Anybody that ever bought a DVD, I want y'all to keep it G and tell me what y'all remember. Me and Sirius Jones. Battle. Really got a lot hip to battle rap, too. Facts. Niggas bought them DVDs for the battles first. Fact. Only reason why I'm saying this is because niggas is talking about shit they really don't know and making me seem like I'm the nigga being funny. I battled for free for years. Smack made money off me. I never asked for a coin. I was a cool with his hustle for my exposure. That's how real niggas move. But when niggas get in position after the consignment, they should double back and do right. Period. So making me seem like asking for money is me being a diva. No. It is me being the nigga that made it possible for niggas to have leagues and thrive in these leagues. I can guarantee you if there were no battles, there would be no leagues. So pretty much he's um saying that if it wasn't for his battles on the Smack DVDs, there would be no platform. And ultimately, there would be no URL. J Mills jumped in and said he didn't know Smack for being nobody but the nigga with the camera. But um, obviously, their relationship hasn't been the best because I remember J Mills was um talking about battling on Smack, wanted to be on Smack, but he was asking for 100 grand. And I don't know nobody in this fucking world that's going to pay J Mills 100 grand to battle any goddamn way. J Mills, you can't even get a fucking album out. So I doubt you're going to get a hundred grand to battle anyway, especially on the URL. So anyway, what do you think about Mook kind of like, I don't know if he's clearing up his comments or if he's just adding fuel to the fire, saying that the DVDs was pretty much predicated and helped out by his contribution. I will say this as a fan, I would definitely say I remember his DVD run. I definitely would say that I became more of a fan and hip to a lot of the street battle culture when he had his run on the DVDs, you know what I'm saying, his classic beef with Cassidy, and then when Cassidy was on the Smack DVDs. We cannot take away from what he attributed to, but as far as after Battle Rap took off and the URL came out, Murder Moose legacy and resume and everything has been really questionable. Obviously, Murder Moose and the URL really haven't seen eye to eye as far as dollar amounts because there was a lot of battles that were talked about that should have happened that didn't happen and then you know he's only got the iron solomon battle which was really an undesirable battle man when it did happen not too many people were fans of it and still to this day um if you look in the comments it's just that people are just tearing that battle apart man and then um but money has always separated um murder mook and url from seeing eye to eye i remember i seen murder mook um Last year sometime, it was at an event in D.C., and I asked him about was he ever going to battle on URL, and definitely it was kind of like alluded to the bag. Um, other than that, I want you to jump in the comments and let me know, what do you think about Murder Mook's comments as far as the whole smack was just a nigga with the camera? He's pretty much responded on his Instagram with these posts, um, and then Jay Mills chimed in and said that he didn't remember him for nothing but being a nigga with the camera. So um, let me know, what was your earliest memory of the Smack DVD, the whole era, and um, do you think that Murder Mook was a big part of that? I personally do. Um, and how do you feel about the whole situation in general? Other than that, it's your man Vada Fly, man. Check it out. Are, are, are we done? Are, are, are we done? Can, 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 we get a, um, can we get a fucking battle to drop? You know what I'm saying? Can we get, can we get something? Can we get a fucking Bill Collector versus uh, Mr. Wavy or... I mean, shit. I mean, can we get? Can we get anything? Uh, no, no. All right. All right then. Peace.